Born in Ontario, Canada, I grew up in Vancouver surrounded by temperate rainforests. It was a vibrant multicultural city full of creative and cultural events, very much like Perth today. My mom made my clothes, creatively reused things, and we experimented with a lot of crafts. Caring for the environment was important as we had a veggie garden, composted, and recycled long before there was curbside recycling. As a child, I developed a strong connection with the natural world through bird watching, plant identification, and my various collections. My family sponsored a child or family overseas, and I was actively encouraged to learn about other cultures, Canadian, native, and um, international. In my very early teens, I consciously decided to stop watching TV news as I found the tragedies in Biafra and the Ethiopian famine too pan painful. I waffled around at university for two years before deciding that I really wanted to follow my passion of textiles and design. Once I made the switch to a degree in home economics, I was privileged to study with well-known Canadian textile artist Joanna Staniscus. I started tapestry weaving and my goal was to become the next Joanna. With Joanna's encouragement, I went on to study at the Ontario College of Art in Toronto with William Hodge, another well-known Canadian textile artist. Six weeks before I left for my first year at art school, I met the love of my life. I hadn't planned financially beyond the first year, so after a year of long-distance romance, I went back to Vancouver and did a teacher training year, but I still dreamt of a creative life. I did the supermom thing, teaching, raising kids, sporting hubby while he pursued his career. I followed him to a 200-acre farm in Ontario, coming from the third largest city in Canada to a farm outside a village of 900 was like moving 50 years back in time and to another country for a city girl like me. I even felt like the money should be different. Then 20 years ago, Hubby was headhunted and we moved to rural New South Wales for a three-year contract and a chance to show the family the other side of the world. Having adjusted to rural Canada, it was only like moving another 25 years back in time. The creative groups were very traditional and thought hanging quilts on walls was too radical, so I put a lid on my crazy creative ideas and got on with life. Two years ago, again following my husband's work, we moved to Perth. I hadn't looked forward to this move so far from our adult children. On arriving, I joined every textile-related group and met so many lovely, welcoming people that I felt at home within a few months. I went wild making, moving further from traditional aesthetics and techniques. Without a teaching job and kids at home, I started to focus on my goals and dreams again, and I started to pursue the subjects that touched my soul, my concern for the environment and the global refugee crisis.